Carla Lamb. All right, all right. Okay, that's good, that's good. I went to Starbucks, the cashier said, sir, are you a black coffee drinker? I said, no, I'm white. <laughs> I saw one of those stepmom porn videos. I saw my stepmom. <laughs> and then I saw myself. I was pissed. I didn't know she was recording that whole time. I like this guy. It's good for my morale. So I dropped a tortilla chip on the kitchen floor and it shattered into pieces. And I knelt down to get the pieces of the tortilla chip and I said, this is familiar. What's going on here? And then I remembered. This reminds me of when I used to smoke crack. <laughs> so I went to Aldi and there was this uh, standing line to pay. There was this right wing guy with long hair in front of me. He says, So, what do you think of the new communist of America? <laughs> I said, Sir, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean any disrespect, but I haven't had sex in four years. I don't really give a shit. There's a store right next to Aldi called Adam and Eve. And uh, I was feeling kind of religious. I went in the air, I said, you guys got any Bibles? She said, sir, we're a sex shop. I said, oh, you got any Bibles? <laughs> I haven't flown in a few years. Every time I go through security, they grab my dick, you know? I'm getting sick of this shit. I don't mind being sexually violated in front of a bunch of strangers. I kind of like it. I resent the use of latex gloves. <laughs> These are jokes, what I was doing up there. I was at Walmart, I saw this Mexican lady knocking on a watermelon. I said, Senora, how do you know if it's a good watermelon? She said, if it sounds good, it's good. So I knocked on a watermelon and it spoke to me. It said, Ryan, you really do have a nice car. <laughs> Dressing like a janitor, it's a little weird, but you're not hurting anybody. You're a decent lady. I mean, you, you know, you're, you know, there's things that you could do that you choose not to do. You could be better. You're not the best leg. But look, man, you got your assets and your liabilities. You've been through a lot. You got a great personality, and I want to give you money just to hang out with you. <sighs> yeah, that sounded like a really good one, though. <laughs> So I've written a poem for you here at the Twilight Lounge. Yeah. It's uh, very deep and spiritual, very meaningful. It took me a long time to write this poem. Can I share it with you? Yeah, hell yeah, okay. hell yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Trader Joe's is out of everything. Bagels? What the fuck is that shit? Thank you. <laughs> Trader Joe's is great, man. I went, the cashier said, so did you find everything you were looking for? I said, actually, you guys were out of the unfiltered Spanish olive oil. She said, yeah. What the fuck do you mean, yeah? Why do you ask me if you don't care? I talked to the manager. I said, ma'am, you guys obviously don't give a shit. Why you ask? She said, sir, is there anything we can do to make it up to you? I said, could we have sex in the wine aisle? <laughs> I wouldn't normally say this, but uh, she had what had to be the biggest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> Trader Joe's. I don't normally do jokes about current events, but seeing as how we're on the brink of a possible nuclear holocaust, I'm really glad I still get Medicaid. I don't know if Medicaid covers being burned alive from the sky, but I hope I can still get a free prostate exam. The prostate exam is the medical profession's way of pumping older men. And the only thing that happened during my last prostate exam was I fell in love with Dr. Hertzberg. Before I leave, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I just had to say it. Love you guys.